it doesn't work like super perfect, but it is. You know what I mean? Like it. This is my desk. And good morning. How are you guys doing? Today I have to work on a few things before we go on a little bitty adventure. I'm gonna have to get all of the supplies for an oil change because I'm gonna be doing the oil change right here in this driveway. Um, my brother also has to do an oil change on his truck. We both carry the same amount of oil. Our tanks for oil are the same size and we only have one like container to kind of make it all happen to where we're not like leaking oil everywhere. Thank gosh I know better and I called the AutoZone to see if they have my oil filter because I'm a Sprinter van and sometimes you can't really get things like you want like that, like they just don't have them. And uh, I have to drive 32 minutes across town to grab an oil filter or I can wait three days and they'll have it moved from across town to the store closest to me. We made it to O'Reilly's. But I literally, I wish that Google had a setting where you could just put the dimensions of your vehicle into the setting so it's not gonna tell you to do like a completely outlandish task that you are way too big to perform. Like, I'm not gonna make a U-turn on the itty bitty little street. How am I gonna do that, 3,000 points? <laughs> like, what the heck? Like, I don't even care. Google, have my vehicle. Know what I drive, please, so you can stop telling me to go in circles. That'd be much appreciated. It's okay. Okay, try the drop test. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys were right. Wow. Okay, so everybody in my comments was telling me to look for my cabin air filter underneath my dashboard. We actually found it in this little spot. And from driving through the fires and being in Florida, this is what it looks like. Um, so now we're gonna get the, this filter, this filter, an oil filter, a fuel filter, and we're gonna do all of that. Because I drove so far into yeah. town mm -hmm. to get to an O'Reilly's, my brother's here I just, <laughs> to get his parts for his oil change just and to detail his truck. Volvo. Yeah, let's see how ugly this is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you open? <Yeah>. Bro! <gasps> oh, boil oil. Oh, well, I, uh, Jigsaw's gonna be happy. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the total. I'm still needing one more filter, but look at that. That's doing your own oil change right there. Carlos is gonna help me put this clean one. Very, very clean, like exceptionally clean. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that's just unreal. Okay. We made it to Grant Stone Marketplace, which is an Oriental and American grocery store. However, I'm hoping to find some of my favorites here because I do actually eat a lot of Vietnamese, Filipino, and Asian style meals. Those are my favorite. So I'm sitting here shopping and Brett calls and he took the oil container back home because he's like, oh, I'll take it so it doesn't have to be in your van. It flew out the back of the truck. So now he's gonna Google how much that thing was 
because we can't just like lop off a trash can and put our oil in that because they won't accept it. So now we're like, awesome. I'm still shopping though. And this store is kind of confusing because I don't really know where everything is. Oh, coconut. Okay, I tried this really gross recipe where it was sweetened condensed milk, oat milk, and vanilla to make creamer. I just found sweetened condensed oat milk. These are coming with me. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. While we were in the store, yeah. I realized there's a water station right out front. So before I put these groceries away, um, I'm gonna go fill up the water jugs and then we are on a mission to Walmart to go get a oil jug so we can both do our oil change. Start off with boiling water, and then we're gonna add these. This is kind of like my serving size, so I'm probably only gonna use half of this sauce, and then I'll end up making snack again. But here's the instructions in a language I can't pronounce or read. So you boil, you do the goods, and then you can make it as creamy. I like my sauce thick, so I strain out a lot of the water, and that's what we're gonna do. I like it like this. You see this? Thicky thick, thicky thick. That's what I like. They probably only take like three minutes to boil. And you'll see, oh, they're slimy. But you'll see they're kind of, they'll puff up and they become really soft. And once they start to really float, when they're boiling, that's when they're done. And then we sauce them gotta get that sauce in the sauce why they want you to add water is because the sauce is a paste and so you kind of make it as saucy as you want this is the type of saucy that i like you can make it as thick and thin ah as you want but it's done and now we can chow down this is good i've never bought the two things separately so I've honestly never really known what the sauce is for this I've just always bought the kits to be honest I still don't know what the sauce is I forgot about this I also got a brown sugar boba it says it's a Taiwan classic am I supposed to shake this Shake well before use. Okay. Read the can. Okay. We are going to go help Brett bleed his brakes. He's got it all tore apart. Just pump it? All the way to the floor, yep. Yeah. You gotta have full. I think I'm gonna have my brother check my brakes too. Because I don't know when's the last time I did it. done okay uh anyways so brett just came in and he said that my brain just was not working fast enough but anyways i had to start the van because brett offered to do my oil change so of course i'm going to clean up the mess put everything back he's doing his oil change right now and then i got the van running and then i'm gonna put it up on these ramps and he's gonna do my oil change and the only thing I have to figure out is with doing my own oil change, I need to come up with like a sticker or something that I can put somewhere to where I can like track my mileage. I know I write it down in my journal, but like my journal's not right there in my face. This is probably one of the biggest lessons that I've had to learn. Um, before my brother puts on, puts my van on the ramps, um, 
I gotta make sure that my gray tank is empty because last time my van tilted like this, what was that? Okay, anyways, um, this thing dumped out everywhere, so yeah. Everything back there is in earthquake mode, so we are ready for this. Here we go. We did it. Okay. Whoo! Jane, careful. You're gonna slide. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> yeah, you just take a wrench and you take the open end. These are really fat metal, so if they have thinner metal, it's easier, but you can hook them together. Now you got a longer wrench. Okay, Dugga, you gotta go the other way. Okay, Dugga. That's alright. It's just like a Chinook helicopter. As long as it's leaking oil and you can see oil underneath, it's alright. It's when you stop seeing oil, there's problems. Ooh! Well, if I roll it off, are you just gonna like push the pan to catch it? Yeah. Jane, You're if not you get. Have any brakes, you know what I mean? You have to be on your brakes like a motherfucker, pre pumped. Mm. I got it, I can do it, okay. So on my dash, it'll tell me how many quarts is left to drain. So I still have two quarts to go now that I'm level. Yep. That's why I've never gotten an oil funnel, because I'm like, what's the point? No, you, just <laughs> you just have to be Stay really no steady more. hand. Don't mess around and pour an oil bottle like everybody pours an oil bottle. I don't know why. There's a million people online that have already told you. They're like, oh, pour it like this. You know? Why? What? Pour it like, you know, pour it like this. That's what your problem is. You're supposed to pour it, oh, it seems like backwards. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't go glug, 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 glug. Wish these did the same. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Sometimes I'll poke a hole right here, but if you're good, you can just find that spot. Maybe we should poke a hole? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Who's that? That's awesome. So the oil change is done. The only thing that I need to get is a um, air fuel filter. Because I got the cabin filter. I think that was the cabin filter. And then I need to go get gas so I can put my fuel injector cleaner in. But yeah, dude, we're done. And Sarah's inside making stuffed peppers. So I think I'm going to go inside and spend time with family. But... I hope you enjoyed coming today and I definitely enjoyed bringing you along and yeah, I hope to see you again. Bye.